We survived. We lived off the land. Now they're talking about living off the land. You lived. And that old fella showed us survival. That's where I learned how to make arrowheads and how to make bow. You put pegs in here in the ground, and you pull it over and put pegs in the corners here to make it sit like that, in that shape. And use the spear. And here's another dancing stick with the eagle claw and the eagle feathers. There was a lot of elders around. I happened to be fortunate enough to be around when there was elders. I have heard them tell stories. And they talked about the water. You see, with that rain, it brings the water up. And then uh, you get that flood coming down from the mountains. It washes the bottom. And it also it brings down the uh, minerals. That's what keeps those trees alive. If there was no rain, the grass would be yellow, be burnt. There's no life in that. The rain is the same thing as a sprinkler when you sprinkle your lawn. And that's why you have to thank the Creator for that water. When I was young, me and my brother, we fished along the river. Let's say we survived along the river. We know the bush. We know where all the game is. We know how to take them out and how to hunt. We used to stand out in the open here. And one guy up on the hill, we sit here, whatever we need, two, three, and drop them. And we'd cut them up and we'd carry them on our shoulders, take them home. The river is up. It's all dirty. But at one time you can go down and fish the river, it's clear. And if you look at the water, it's not as the way it should be. Right now it's muddy. If it was good, there'd be somebody fishing in here. At one time, you used to see the people and young kids and everybody would be down the river swimming, fishing, drink out of that water. Now we won't, it's we don't trust it. come from the mountain, way back in there. You come down. This water is not polluted. If this water was dirty, the rocks wouldn't be shining. There'd be a silk over them. You see how the rocks are shining they are? The water is clear. Good water. Talking about water, healthy water, right there. How are you going to stop all that pollution? All that stuff they used to spray. All them feedlots, that water, the manure that's running into the rivers the sewers. How are you going to stop it? A lot of times I go down the river and I stand there and I pray and talk to the water spirit. If there was a way to change it, I would change it. 
And that's why you gotta protect that. Water. But how? That's the question, how? Huh?